Hello Internet! This is a little guide on how to use the Sector 101 waveform card. In my case, I'm using it with a Yamaha SY77 synthesizer. And we start out by downloading all the material from the Sector 101 website. There are four things that we need to download. First, we have the Waveblade user manual. Second, we have the Waveblade programmer manual. Third, we have the software package. And fourth, we have a repository of already dumped waveform cards. And here we download three waveform cards, the Synwave 1, the Synwave 2, and the brass section. So let's take a look at what we have downloaded. We have four files. Let's unzip the Waveblade software package and also the three waveform cards. Now, the first thing that we need is the Arduino driver. And what we have to do now is that we have to plug in the waveform card programmer, and then we have to install the Arduino driver for this programmer. You can see that the programmer unit is plugged into your computer via USB when the power LED lights up green. So now let's take a look at what this looks like in the Windows Device Manager. We can see that the programmer unit is detected as a serial USB device on COM3. This is a little different than uh, what is written in the user manual. There it says that it should be detected as an unknown device. So, and that's why I'm a little confused here. That's why I try to reset it. But uh, as we can see, it pops up again as a generic serial device on COM3. So what I do now is that I go to driver and I override the driver. I'm sorry it's all in German, but the English or other language labels should be in the same place. And there we have it. We override the driver, we confirm, and now we have the Arduino Omega 2560 driver installed. So next we install the TerraTerm software. This is the software that we can use to access the Waveblade card via the programmer, and we can also use this software to upload um, binary dumps to the Waveblade. So next, something unexpected happens. A runtime error appears. I'm not sure where this is coming from. Anyway, if you just ignore it by clicking OK, everything works fine. So now we have the TerraTerm software open. And we first click Cancel uh, to the opening window. And then we basically go through the setup uh, and configure it as stated in the Waveblade programmer manual. In the terminal window, we set the terminal size vertically to 25 characters and set the new line received to line feed only. Next, we go to the window configuration. In the window configuration, we set the cursor shape to horizontal line and everything else can stay as it is. In the font setup, we just change the font to fix this. In the keyboard setup, we leave everything as it is. Next, we have the serial port setup. And there we have to make sure that the port is configured to the one that we have installed the driver to. We change the baud rate. We set parity to odd and everything is fine. And now we are connected to the programmer unit already. We can type in help or info. And here we have some statistics on the programmer unit. So and now we have one thing left to do, which is very important. We have to save the settings so we don't have to go through all these settings again. 
And here we can just replace the default Jira term any. So this is the basic setup of the programmer unit. We can plug on the waveform card now and start to program it. Okay, back to Tira term now. Let's type in info again to see if anything has changed. Okay, nothing has changed because it's um, statistics for the programmer unit, not for the card. So in my case, I don't want to play around with the sine waves already programmed on the card. What I want to do is basically erase completely and I can do that with the command erase all. And we can see the progress indicator doing its thing erasing all card slots. Also notice the number display on the lower left when it's working. So and the next thing that we want to do is basically uh, upload the waveform card images that we've downloaded, for example from the Synwave 1. And for that we have to basically take a look at the slots. The Waveblade card has 8 megabytes of memory. Those 8 megabytes are divided up into 8 1 megabyte slots or alternatively into 2 megabyte slots. In our case, the waveform card images that we have downloaded are 512 kilobytes and the upload process for them is a little bit different. So in general, we have to upload it to a slot 1, but because it's 512 kilobytes, we upload it to slot 1S, indicating that we upload a binary image of 512 kilobytes instead of 1 megabyte. So now I have typed in program 1S and um, we have to send the file now, which can be found in the files menu. Send file, we have to click the option binary and now we actually have to send the waveform card image. There are two bin files in this uh, folder. Uh, one data file and one waveform card file. We have to select the wave card file. And now I'm actually doing a mistake because I'm uploading the zip file that I've pasted in here. So somehow we have to undo the mess that I've done now. I'm not sure what happened. And what I see now is that uh, I haven't actually unpacked the zip files because I've used the zip browse function of the operating system. So to correct this, I'm unpacking the zip files now. And now we can select the proper file, the waveform bin file. Now, as you know, I've uploaded a few bytes already of the zip file, which is basically bad data. And to be sure that I haven't messed up anything, I'm simply erasing the data once more. To do that, I press the reset button on the programmer unit. So it's reset now. And I type in erase all once more. So let's repeat the process. I want to program slot one using 512 kilobytes and I can send the binary file now. This time I don't send the zip file, but the waveform card image. And this time we are uploading the correct file. So the programming of slot 1 is complete and now we can type in checksum to see whether the programmer has worked correctly. The next thing that we can do is use the card command to see what waveforms are programmed into a specific slot of the waveform card. If we type in card we get some help on the command. And if we type in card one, we see that we have 16 waveform program into slot one. 
And in comparison, card two and three are not programmed. So these are marked with question marks. So next we program the second slot. We have two more waveform cards to upload. The Sin Wave 2 and Bra Section cards. And we will do that now. So we have programmed slots 1, 2 and 3 of the waveform card, it's time to test it out. For that we remove the waveform card from the programmer and we put it into my Yamaha SY77. As you can see, the number display shows that slot 1 is selected. To test the waveforms on the card, I'm using an internal voice, which is in AWM mode. And there we can go to element 1, select wave set. And if we hit F2 to get the waveforms on the card, we see that we are shown waveforms on the card. Already. If we slide all the way up, we see that there are 60 waveforms on the card, and this matches what the Tira term card command has shown us. So now we switch to card slot 2. And finally, let's try the third slot. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will take a look at uploading custom waveforms.